Hello. I did this question earlier using uh, z-scores and uh, looking up the numbers on a table, but this time I'll do the same question with uh, a website that calculates the uh, probabilities for you and also by using uh, Microsoft Excel. So let's start with the question again. In a study involving over 20,000 infants, the head circumference had a mean of 33.9 centimeters. So let's write that down here for, for reference. I use mu, the Greek letter mu, for mean, and a standard deviation of 1.3 centimeters. I should include my units here, centimeters, centimeters. Assuming the distribution is normal, it's important that it has to be a normal uh, curve in order to do these calculations. What percentage of newborns had a head circumference greater than 35.0 centimeters? All right, so even if you're going to use a computer to do your work for you, um, it's still important to draw a picture and at least get a rough estimate of your answer. Uh, in fact, it's probably even more important uh, to draw a picture so that you can understand what the results are that the computer is giving you. So uh, it's a normal distribution. The mean is 33.9, right there in the middle. And then uh, three standard deviations up, three standard deviations down. So 33.9 plus 1.3 is 35.2. I'll write my number sideways so I can fit them all in. Plus another 1.3 is 36. Um, point five plus another 1.3 is 37.8. Going down to standard deviations, 33.9 minus 1.3 is 32.6. Minus 1.3 is 31.3. Minus 1.3 is 30.0. All right, so according to the 68, 95, 90.7 rule, I know that 68% of the infants have a head circumference between 32.6 and 35.2. Um, let's just write 68% in there. Um, that leaves you with 16% of the newborns have a head circumference less than 32.6 centimeters and 16% up here uh, having a head circumference greater than 35.2. Now, um, our cutoff is 35.0, which is pretty close to 35.2. So let's uh, draw 35 in there. And so it's, it's going to be 16% plus this little extra area. So maybe 17 or 18%, that's, that's my estimate. Um, actually, when I did this uh, the last time using z-scores, we got 19%. Okay, so 19%. Uh, now, um, to answer this question, um, this time we will go to a website here. Um, the website is, uh, uh, the, our website, has a link to this. Um, here it is. It says normal t distribution probabilities. And so there's actually quite a few websites. You can just do a quick uh, search on your browser. Just type in normal probability calculator or something, and you, something like this will pop up. So first click normal distribution, and then you type in the mean and standard deviation. So the mean was 33.9, standard deviation was 1.3, and then in this question, it was asking what percentage of newborns had head circumference greater than 35.0 centimeters. So that means um, I want probability of probability of x being greater than something in this case 35. Um, if I wanted something less than, I would click the less than uh, question. If it was a question about uh, a percentage in between two values, I would pick the third uh, case, P, probability of X being in between two values. But on this one, it's a greater than, so I'm clicking the middle one, and then click Calculate. And it instantly gives you the answer. So what the computer is doing is it takes the mean and standard deviation and the, the value of X, it computes the Z-score for you. And then there's a formula for, it's a very complicated formula, that you can use to compute the area under the normal curve, and it, it computes that formula. It computes that um, that area, and so it's 0.198733, and it even draws a picture for you. Um, 
very similar to the um, the picture that I drew right here, 32.9 in the middle, one center of the base 35.2, and so forth, that draws that same picture uh, right, right down here, and it shades in the region so that you know for sure it's, it's the actual region that, that we're asking for. Now, um, if you watched the previous video where I did this calculation using these scores, the answer was a little bit different. It was 0.19, and the, those last few digits is a little bit different. The reason the answer is different is because it uses a more precise z-score. Um, when I calculated a z-score, it was 0.846 or something, and I rounded up to 0.85. Well, the computer doesn't have to round off to just two digits, and that's why the answer is, is a little bit different. This is a little bit more accurate than, um, than using the, the z-score table. So then the answer, um, let's write this down here, 0.198733, which would round up to 20%. Very close to what we had from using the z-scores right there. I can move those point two places, so 19.8733%. So there's the, there's the answer. Now, if you want to do this on a spreadsheet such as Microsoft Excel or some other similar spreadsheet, here's what you would do. Um, I have a spreadsheet open here. Here we go. Here it is. All right, so just find a blank uh, cell and just, um, let me zoom this in so everyone can see this a little bit, a little bit better. Here we go. So the command is norm disk. So equal sign norm disks. Um, a newer version of Excel has norm and then a period and then disk, but norm disk still works. So you just type in your number. So the first number is X, the number that you're interested in. And then you type in your mean, 33.9. And then type in the standard deviation, which is 1.3. And then there's one more thing you have to enter in. Um, do we want the cumulative um, distribution function or just the, um, the actual y coordinate of the graph? We want cumulative, meaning the total area from, from 35 on down. So type true. You always type true for these. And then closing parentheses. Press enter, and it gives you 0 0.81, excuse me, 0.80127. It gives you the area to the left, um, just just like the the tables do. Um, uh, and so, if you want to know the area to the right, just do um, equal sign one minus that number, one minus e three, and you get 0.19873. Same answer that we got from uh, from that website, and uh, and that's it. A couple of of examples of using uh, uh, some kind of computer software to uh, compute the 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 areas under the normal curve for you.